In dealing with debt, some encouraging news about Americans and credit cards. We have Ted Rossman, the senior industry analyst at Bankrate.com, here for more. Hello to you, Ted. Hi, thanks for having me. What can you tell us about this encouraging news? Revolving credit, which is mostly credit card debt, fell about 1% in August, according to the Federal Reserve. Now, that's not a big drop, but we don't usually see declines. In fact, credit card debt has been marching upward steadily since early 2021. According to a different Fed data set, credit card balances are up 48% during that span. We know that more Americans are working now and wages are growing. What's behind the use of credit cards that you can tell us about? We can attribute that to everything from higher prices to higher interest rates, population growth, more card usage, less cash. These are all reasons why credit card balances continue to grow. Now, I should point out that these are balances, as in a moment in time. Half of cardholders, according to our research, typically pay in full every month. So that's not really debt in the sense of carrying interest. Uh, For the other half, it certainly is. And and that's a big deal with the average credit card rate north of 20%. What's happening lately with people using credit cards? What's going on lately is that a lot of consumers are embracing more frugal habits. Some of the sugar high has worn off in terms of that post-pandemic boom and travel and dining out and concert tickets and things like that. Yes, many people unleash those credit cards following the pandemic. There was so much pent up demand. We seem to be headed towards a frugal holiday season. A recent bank rate survey found that one in four holiday shoppers are planning to spend more than they did last year. That's it, just one in four. Uh, One in three planning to spend less, everybody else about the same. Many people are really actively looking for deals and discounts and holding back on certain purchases because they are worried about the cumulative effects of inflation and we've seen some weakening in the job market. I mean, nothing too serious, but people are just being a little bit more tight-fisted right now. That's probably a good thing for your personal finances. I mean, we certainly don't want people carrying credit card debt at 20 or 25 or 30 percent. It may not be as good of a sign, though, for retailers and the consumer-driven parts of the economy. There's always a possibility that the strong September jobs report with more than a quarter of a million people added to payrolls could bump up bigger holiday spending. You never know. Sometimes consumers say one thing and do another. We thank you, Ted. No problem. Thank you. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.